How's it going everybody? Thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out my channel. Uh, quick update, I have not posted a video on YouTube for quite some time. Uh, I don't want to get into all the specifics, but between my wife and myself, we've had a host of medical issues far beyond my shoulder. That's coming along slowly, slower than what I wanted it to, but I haven't been on YouTube doing much of anything. I've answered a few comments. I haven't watched anybody else's videos hardly. I apologize for that. And this is the first time I've had my camera out in months, I think. So my wife, she's back there hanging out in the truck watching. If, if you know anything about my channel very much, you know she's been in a wheelchair for a long time. Oh man, 20, 25 years probably. But I'm going to try to do a little quick bee video here and just explain what's going on with my bees. Uh, my bees, they got neglected as well, more so than any, than I wanted to. But I do have a couple hives that are producing some honey. I've had, I'm sure I've had a ton of swarms so far. I actually, I saw one one time, wasn't able to catch it. I got in, I was able to get into a couple of hives. I still can't completely lift the box off of the hives. Uh, the, the bees are pretty calm right now. They got a lot. They're working like crazy. It's beautiful out But I was into that hive. I found a bunch of swarm cells I was into that hive. I was able to get into there and found a bunch of swarm cells So that's one of the things where with maintenance proper maintenance you can you can't eliminate swarming and stuff But you can you can reduce it and use it to your advantage. I did take and I broke off a couple of swarm cells off of a frame and stuck them over here. I'm going to check that out. I got some food ready to go back into there. Try to make a little split. All eight of my hives made it through the winter, which is, for me, that's amazing. I am basically going to get into that little split today, check it out, and maybe peek into one of these hives. I forgot my smoker. I'm not sure how grumpy they'll be. But I am going to try to focus on the positive here. And get in here and see, I don't know, I'm not sure if the queen hatched or what's going on in here really. So I'm going to get into there. This is probably about 10 days to 2 weeks ago I set them over there. I don't see a lot of activity. So I'm not sure how promising it looks. They drank one jug of sugar water there, a quart of it. So I'm going to get in there and maybe see if there's a virgin queen. And see if there's at least some open queen cells. So I'm going to get my suit on and see what's going on. I wasn't really thinking too clearly when I even set this box up. I just stuck it here on these logs. It's in a pretty precarious position here. Well, I still got bees in here. That's a positive. Now, there's been plenty of time for a queen to hatch and do a mating flight. There's plenty of drones around here, that's for sure, with all my bees. And we got some other local beekeepers. So I can get this out of here nice and slowly and there's a pretty good amount of bees really still uh well they're putting away a lot of a lot of nectar looks like they were trying to build a queen cell right there that's not a very good sign i'm gonna take a second here and search and see if i see a queen on this frame i'll be darned i see her she's here she looks like a, she's still a virgin queen. She's small. I found her on the first frame. That's, that's something. She's right here at the end of my hive tool. She's not very big at all. Well, hopefully in the next couple days, she'll go do a mating flight. Once they do a mating flight, you can see her right beside. Here's a drone. That's the male bee. They, they're just plump looking. She's getting, she's getting skittish now. But she's in here, got a queen in here anyways. Now she just needs to go out and do a mating flight. And I could actually have a, an extra hive here to uh, replace one that has swarmed and maybe not had a replacement queen. Or maybe, I don't know, sell this off or something. I could have, I literally could have made uh, a dozen splits this year off of eight hives pretty easily. But you know what? Man plan the God smile sometimes. I gotta get this girl slid back into here. I like to check out a couple of these other frames. Here, I don't want to lose her though. Over there, bees. They're pretty nice and calm. No smoke. 
I'm gonna pull this one out and slide her down into there. Right back to where she was. Sort of strange she's on the outside one. I'll show you some of the queen cups that were in here. At the bottom here, there's a queen cup right here, or queen cell, whatever you want to call it. I guess maybe they're called a cup before they're capped, but here's an open one here. There were probably one, two, three. There were at least four queen cells in here. Still got emerging brood coming out of here. I stuck a frame of brood in here. So there's a lot of baby bees, nurse bees in here and stuff. I'm gonna give them some more sugar water and come back in about a week or so. I'll keep feeding them some sugar water because I don't think they have a ton of foragers. So I'll come back in about a week or so, check them out again, see if she's mated, maybe laying some eggs in here, get them into a bigger box. So that was nice. They're nice and calm. That's really nice. I'm going to fill this up with sugar water. All right, they got a fresh jar of sugar water. I'll come back in a while, check them out again, and see if got a laying queen. All right, I'm gonna make an attempt to get into this hive. This hive and the one straight inside the, the fence there, they had capped queen cells at the same time. I can't remember which one I pulled from though. So I'm just gonna get into here and see if I can find any evidence of a laying queen. All right, if they cooperate, I'm just gonna dig in here a little bit and see what I can find. Nice and slow. Now they're making some nice new comb here anyways. I always work my bees the same way. I try to get one of the exterior frames slid out. Then I can pull a frame out. Once you get one frame out, it's easier to work them. You can see evidence of open queen cells right there. I'm peeking more for eggs than I am for a queen, but if I spot a queen, it'd be cool. I won't be able to get into the bottom box because I can't lift something quite this heavy yet. This box here will be very heavy. Right here, I don't know if I get it in camera or not, but there's a bee emerging right, right here. Nice little worker bee. Starting to come out of there. That's the last of the brood that was there from the queen before. I'm sure these bees have sworn, but there's still a lot of bees in here. That's pretty cool. There is a bonus to swarming. It breaks the brood cycle, which can also help keep mites down because mites need brood to keep reproducing. All right, no eggs so far. I'm going to pull one more frame out, and that's it. They're being remarkably gentle, though. I like it. I've worked with some grumpy bees before. My sister has a grumpy hive. They're just no fun. I'm not dealing with those anymore. I'm gonna requeen them as fast as possible from now on. <laughs> they do have a lot of nice new comb they're building out though. These girls are building just great. All right, so that's about it for the beekeeping today. 
I plan on trying to make a trip down to the Pennsylvania Trapping Rendezvous. It's taking place the 15th, 16th, 17th of this month. I plan on going down on the 16th, hopefully. And that's the that's a Friday. So I'm going to try to get down there and, and check some stuff out and see what's going on. But until then, hope you all have a blessed day. Stay safe, everybody. And thanks for watching.